How's it going, everybody? We are on the new patch, and there's already bugs me, you know, loading into this game because I did my bans, and then the bans just disappeared. But, I mean, I banned my normal gods. Uh, I'm wondering if I should use a different Yorm skin. Let's use this one. And we're up against an Anubis, and the reason I am playing Yorm is because we've got... Uh, We've got two buffs with him. We've got Gilded Arrow buff because I build Gilded Arrow on Jormungandr because it increases his auto attack stat, which then increases his auto attack damage by a bit, by quite a bit. And then not only did Gilded Arrow get buffed, but Yorm got buffed as well with his auto attack. So it's like a double auto attack buff. So really good in general. Ooh, I actually might start this. And on this map, ooh, what do we want to... Probably a beads against... Anubis. This is a tough matchup, let me tell you. Because when Anubis ults, I can't dodge it. I can like ult maybe and get out before he shreds me, but So the meta on this map, if for because it's been a long time since this map's been around, uh, is you actually don't start a buff. Because if you start a buff, your opponent invades you. So you want to try to contest for red buff. Um and that actually makes things a little bit more difficult for my guardians, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah. so like you start in mid, if you see that your opponent's not here, you go and check their blue buff pretty much. Because everything's a lot closer together on this map. I do think this is the map that everyone universally liked more. Let's see how much damage my autos do now. Ooh, a good amount, a good amount! Oh, but he... He shelled! He, how dare he shell, man. I was showing off my autos. My autos hit it for 500 damage this early into the game. This skin's pretty cool. I, I decided to buy the Odyssey straight out. I don't know if this skin's an Odyssey or not. But I bought it straight out for the Cthulhu skin. So I get a video on that probably tomorrow. Ah, we got a recall. We, we, we were winning the fight. But then he... Uh, but then he, of course, got his lifesteal, which is tough. But if we get our blue buff, it's okay. Give up red for blue. Incredible. Ah, it's using my default voice pack. I was going to show some of the voice. Well, I guess I could use the taunts and stuff. Okay, I can't hear it at all when I'm picking blue buff. <laughs> I have no idea what you said, Yorm. Yeah, this skin's pretty cool. I like that you can kind of see through it. Uh, I don't know if that counts as a skin advantage. I think it does. Back when skins weren't actually allowed in the SPL, they made an exception for Hebro Hebo because uh, you couldn't actually see past his model for the the three uh, with the base skin. And the Hebro skin gave a slight... Uh, not really a skin advantage, it's more like a, just a necessity to play Hebo. Uh, so that was kind of funny that they used to allow that skin as an exception because it was it was better to use. Um, looks like he's going pretty standard Anubis build. We're going to need a lot of anti-heal. Okay. I'm thinking I should ult try ulting him. But obviously he's healing so damn much. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. If I miss that, uh, that would have been very bad for us. Good stuff overall. This game's going pretty okay. Yeah, because if I missed that, he just had to use his ability. He would have healed to full health. All right, now we have our Bancrofts. Now what we need is Divine Ruin. And again, Tainted still pretty good in this matchup. But I specifically played Yorm because I wanted to do my whole Gilded Arrow Yorm and Gunder thing, right? And I can't do that if I go Tainted Steel. But yeah, if you're if you're against Anubis, I recommend Tainted Steel. Or skipping a Relic. I, I mean, or at least skipping a starter item to see if they go Vamp Shroud. Because not every Anubis goes Vamp Shroud. 
It's probably one of the better starter items on him, but it's definitely not a every single Anubis thing. Okay, we actually do steal that. Come on, kill him! Oh my goodness! Who would win? A giant laser or some, some bad breath from Norman Gunder? Oh my goodness, dude, the autos. How much did I hit him for? 755. I actually read the wrong number earlier, I think. Yeah, like at the beginning of the game, I'm going to have to look back at the video. I'm sure you guys already saw that, but I'm pretty sure I read the wrong number. Yeah, 755 damage on Anubis with my auto attacks. His ultimate did 454. To be fair, I was autoing him a lot longer than his ultimate, but wow, that's amazing. That's incredible. All right, let's get a... I actually need Pestilence before Divine, but we'll go Pestilence, Divine, Ruin, and that is actually all of the anti-heal we can build on Jormungandr uh, because Toxic Blade does not work on him. Uh, auto attack items generally do not um, unless they give the stat, like basic attack damage. That works on Yorm, but things like Telekines, Demonic Grip, uh, the attack speed works with his passive in a way, like his attack speed. Uh, in terms of getting it back faster but not like uh not like how you would expect like telekines isn't going to give you a ton of bonus damage passive doesn't work on the item so the same thing with toxic blade this is super dangerous might have to use beads here ah he was just running away all right let's go just back i guess you can see me recalling over this, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Okay, one thing about this map is Demon King is back. I think that there might actually be some players that have started playing Smite and don't know what Demon King is. Because it's actually been a hot minute since we've had a map. And, you know, we're always, we're always getting new players. So, uh, Demon King, all it does is if you kill it, it disables your opponent. Your opponent's like a uh, st structure so it'll disable his tower or if he kills it it'll disable my tower and it gives you like a like a health and mana regen buff as well damn i'm already half health i really don't want to fight here really don't want to fight until i get some more anti-heal okay all right that works for me he has control of all the buffs. Um, I would say buff control in this map, it's important. But I wouldn't say it's as important as the other maps. Like, obviously, if they steal your blue, it sucks. But it's not that hard to get control of your blue back again. Because there's, there's not so many buffs, you know? Doesn't put them as drastically ahead as if they were to steal all three of your buffs on the other map, for example. And we're pretty much the same XP in gold. I, I mean, I'm, I'm ahead in gold. I have killed him twice, though. He did take those. Okay. I'm just really scared of him right now, quite honestly. But when he misses his stuff, I'm not as scared. Look at that damage. Oh, that was not good. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. I had to stop auto attacking to pop a potion to get enough HP to not die there. Oh, that was scary. I should have popped my potion before I even ulted. That was way too close for comfort. These are my two for the empowered auto attacks for the tower. Yeah, I would say Yorm's like biggest weakness is objective push. It always has been. And uh, with Gilded Arrow, he no longer has that issue as much. He still has it, just it's not as prominent. Wow, we shred this buff. I don't even need to use my two. However, keep in mind that he is right there. He is going to steal our blue buff, but that's okay. I got red buff. That isn't that what matters. He doesn't have blink, so I can clear this wave and run away. 
All right, let's finish our divine ruin. Or I guess we can't finish it, but let's get tier two. Next item, I'm getting thorns. I have learned my lesson against Anubises as big guardian, like as a big guardian anyways, with an easy to hit hitbox is I need that thorns to, uh, in case I can't get away. And I mean, it can do a ton of damage. Curse Donk would also be pretty good, but with Curse Donk, uh, Anubis abilities don't actually count as healing, so you don't get the increased damage part of the passive. The only part of the passive you would get is the, uh, is just the reduced healing. That was interesting. Okay, we can get Divine Ruin now. Looks like he's getting Typhons. So, our playstyle is pretty much going to have to be an all-in. Because if we don't all-in him, uh, he will just heal off to full health. Full health off of one wave. Which sucks. Look at this damage. And he has defense. <laughs> that ultimate's hilarious. All right, now we have Divine Ruin. That is so good. It's so important. And I think I'm going to go a Spear of the Mages next. Spear of the Mages seems like a nice a nice item to have right now. Pretty good on Jormungandr. You proc it with the one, and then the rest of your damage is increased. And hell, it increased my auto attack damage, so... I don't think... I don't remember if Rod of Tootie passive works on Jorm. I don't think it does. I made a video a long time back just like testing every single item on Yorm, every auto attack damage item. And I don't think Rod 2D worked. This is good, this is good, this is good. Good, he has Divine Ruin on him. What I need is cooldown, so maybe a Chronos Pennant last item. Have a good amount of damage, especially when we upgrade our starter item. Alright, I'm going to wait to hit this Divine Rune when he's closer to the wave. Oh, I missed. That's not good. It's very important I don't let him heal the full health off this wave. How do I keep missing those? There we go. All right, he has Divine Rune on him. He's still going to heal, of course, but not nearly as much, I hope. Oh, my... Oh, my goodness. These fights are so close. All right, all right, all right. Hold on. I think we can kill this tower without using my 1 and 3 and 2. Okay, let's see how much Phoenix damage we can do. It's important to get as much structure damage as possible on Yorm. Um, I, the minions weren't in it. Ah, the minions weren't in it. Frustrating. I should maybe ult out. I'm just gonna run. <clears throat> he might be chasing. If I, I don't know. He could have went straight for Demon King. If he does, that's no big deal. I have tower. Him taking Demon King to disable my tower is not really that big of a deal. And honestly, um, as Jormungandr, I can't take Demon King too well. Let's go over the, there, just in case. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it doesn't actually... So, I think that's a bug, but you're supposed to hear the Demon King roar when Demon King is taken. I guess on this map, it's called Bull Demon King. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to have to get used to that again. On this map, it's called Bull Demon King. On the other map, it's called Demon King. I don't know why. But, yeah. I, I actually couldn't hear the death roar. He is really out of position here. And he did just ult for that lull. We do chase here, absolutely. 
Because his everything is down. Oh, he hit me with that. Are you kidding me? Ah, that's really unfortunate that he hit me with that. How are you hitting me when I am invisible? Holy moly. Like, it's, it's, it's consistently he has been able to hit me. There we go. Oh, he popped his shell. His ultimate's coming up. I really don't have too much. This is not a this is not a great idea, but with his two down, I think we can maybe do something. Okay, run, 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 run. Woo. Okay. Got his ultimate. Wait, is he faster than me? Wow, he's back to full health. Do you see his health bar? <laughs> oh, yeah. If he goes even like a couple of seconds without me applying that, he's... Oh, I think I might have to go a, a double defense. Uh, I here's the, here's the situation where it's like, I wish I had another anti-heal item I could build, but I don't. There is not a single other anti-item in the game that I can build that would help me. Because again, Toxic Blade doesn't work. And because of that, I'm kind of forced into doing something else. And I guess in this situation, that something else is double defense with Void. Uh, because otherwise, otherwise uh, he can just heal the full health off of one wave and then just one-shot me the next, you know? Don't like going double defense too often, but... Uh, I don't rule it out um, when I'm kind of forced to in situations like this. I think his next item is going to be Spear the Magus. If it is, I honestly don't think he should have built Bancrofts. Because he's like, yeah, he's max life still pretty much. Nope, it's Void as well. All right, double, two double defense is fine. Well, I guess the other, again, the other anti item I could have went is Tainted Steel, but I'll go with Gilded Arrow for the video. Once I get Diamond Arrow, my auto attacks are going to skyrocket in damage as well. Because that gives 80 auto attack damage. Again, it's not 80 per, like, hit on Jormungandr. It's There's, like, some equation that, like, calculates the reduced amount, but it's still worth... I'm going to stand his ability because I've used thorns. Oh my goodness, dude. No, look at his health bar. Uh-oh. At least I got my divine ru rune off. Whatever happened to my Chronos pet idea? I think I had to scrap it because he's his playstyle. I could sell Bancrofts for a Crow's Bennett. I'm down to do that. The amount of damage I do to him is nothing compared to the amount of healing he has. Level 19, I'm actually not going to finish my Void. Just because I want enough gold to upgrade my starter item uh, once we can. And yeah, late game, I'm going to swap Bancrofts out for Crow's Bennett. We need our cooldown. More cooldown means more Divine Rune procs. And that's good. Okay, I need like one more XP to level up.
Yeah, he doesn't even want to fight us anymore. He's kind of just... He, he's trying to use his life to his advantage, where he fights me, and then the next wave heals full, fights me. And he will always out-sustain me with that playstyle, which is really problematic for us. And again, once he gets the Sacrificial Shroud, oh man, we're going to take so much damage. Can we afford both here? We can. Nice. Alright, get some wards. Again, I'm not too worried about him taking Demon King as long as my tower is up. Once my tower is down, then I have to be more careful about it. Which, it's about to go down here. Why did that not split my pole? Oh, oh, the pool died right there. Okay, he do be lagging. I tried to CC immune his his thing with my ultimate, but it didn't really work. Oh my goodness, dude. Chasing this Anubis is so frustrating. No, he's going to clear the wave. Oh no, he still has a shell. Okay, there we go. Look at the amount of damage I'm doing to him and the amount he's mitigating. But keep in mind, he's just healing it all. It's not healing that much, I guess I should say, but uh, normally I don't try to go for Demon King, but he cleared the wave, and quite honestly, I don't know if we would have been able to get his Phoenix out of the way. Yeah, it's, it's difficult to get on your arm. It's tough. There we go. Yeah, no Demon King roar. Uh, Bull Demon King sound, so that's, uh, I don't know. I guess they'll bring that back, though. Gonna upgrade my relics, get this. One 1900 base tech damage. Lol. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. 1900 base tech damage. Just you wait until I get red buff. Yeah, we're hitting him for 46 of pop. I say we run past him and go for Phoenix. I don't like doing that, but uh, hey, I got Demon King. You got to defend. It's not it's not my job to defend for you. It's not like I'm backdoor. I'm making it very clear my intentions. Come and defend this and I will fight you. There you go. Because otherwise he's just going to waste my time, you know? I'm doing more with my basics than... He is with this Anubisol. Oh, but when he gets low health, man. When he gets low health, it is scary. Ah, I didn't hit him with the Divine Ruin. Now he's going to heal so much. There we go. Good stuff. His Phoenix is up again, but he did not clear my wave. And I mean, yeah, that's pretty much a game. What an incredible game. How much did my autos do there at the end? 1,500. Wow. Yeah, my my autos were actually hitting him for more than his ultimate. What a crazy game. GG. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to get a Cthulhu game with the Tier 5 tomorrow, so look forward to that. And I might try to get a custom Carib this game if there's enough interest for that. But uh, thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate it. I'm doing amazing. I hope you guys are as well. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. Let me show the stats. There we go. All right. Bye, everybody.